The National Gas Company believes compressed natural gas, or CNG, is helping this country meet the Sustainable Development Goals 2030. At the virtual launch of the company's 2019 sustainability report, NGC President Mark Luquan said, with the increasing number of CNG vehicles locally, the amount of carbon dioxide emissions is reducing. And then there's CNG, you know, where, you know, we can now talk about the, the whole issue of uh, how, how much CO2 is being displaced when you when you use CNG instead of uh, gasoline and diesel. And, and you know, Curtis would tell me that's 27,000 you know metric tons. And at least now we could quantify those things. Um, and we are at the beginning. But while investment in CNG is growing locally, head of multilateral environmental agreements in the Ministry of Planning and Development, Kishan Kumar Singh, notes that this type of fuel is a transitional fuel and is not the long-term solution. Uh, as early as 2025, uh, which is just five, four years away now, uh, and 2030, that these countries will not be offering uh, internal combustion, new internal combustion engine vehicles for sale. So it means that gasoline, NGC, um, CNG, sorry, um, diesel, will, will, the demand will go away as electric vehicles are, uh, are now being um, uh, phased in into these uh, countries. Mr. Loquan said there are currently over 10,000 vehicles running on CNG locally and seven more CNG stations are expected to be added to the current 13 providers of CNG.